So Power World just got an amazing update that helped smooth out a lot of concerns that were happening in the game. In this video, I'll be covering everything that was just patched with this update. And the funny thing is, I actually just made a video recently over one of these major concerns that players were getting really upset about. There was tons of posts about this concern. It's nice that Power World developers got this knocked out. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. If you find this enjoyable, by the way, consider taking a little bit of your time sometime during this video and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. So yeah, as you can see, here's what they posted. They released patch notice for Steam and Xbox. It says Xbox version will be released as soon as it is ready, but Steam version seems like it is already uh, ready and it's been released. Here are the major fixes, though. They fixed an issue where the game would always crash and save data would be corrupted when the total number of PALs captured by the guild reached approximately 7,000. In a previous patch, save data that had already been in the state for servers to servers world data remained in a broken state that made it impossible to load. But after applying this patch, it will be resolved and will load properly. So that's good news for those of you that were encountering that. They also fixed an issue where some weapons equipped by other players would disappear when a player used a grenade in multiplayer. It's nice. So next up here, it's awesome to see that they also fixed this because this was a big concern from a lot of players. I literally just made a video over this recently. But yeah, it states here, fix an issue where although the displayed capture probability increased when the capture power was strengthened with lift monk effigies, the capture probability did not actually increase at all due to an internal processing bug. And that was a big problem ruining a lot of players' accounts because they thought they were increasing their capture rate by increasing their capture power from the uh, Statue of Power, which is what you make at your base to power up your player. You just enhance player stats, and you're able to increase your capture power, as you can see here, from the Lift Monk effigies that you take the time collecting. Unfortunately, it was doing the exact opposite, though. The effigies that we were collecting wasn't really adding up to our capture power. It was, if anything, making us capture less. So if we didn't use any of our Lymph Monk effigies to power up our capture power, we'd actually capture more. Ironic, right? So yeah, this was a big bug that was going around for a little while within Power World, and it's nice to see the developers got this knocked out because this was, once again, a big concern from a lot of players. I didn't really get to experience this too much myself, but then again, I didn't really notice it because I didn't really realize it was a bug. So maybe I was getting it and I just didn't realize just because I didn't... Uh, really pay attention of how much my capture rate was increased or not from the effigy. But it does make sense now, the way some things were happening with my gameplay. But yeah, that next up here is base related fixes. They fixed an issue where if a pal that was manually assigned to a breeding farm went to sleep, it would not wake up forever. And they also fixed an issue where no wood would drop when pal at the base felled a tree. So that's nice. And for others, they implemented countermeasures against some cheats and exploits, which I've heard that there's quite a bit of cheating going on and hacks going on, unfortunately, but I'm sure those will be smoothed out over time. They're working on it, I'm sure. After all, this is still early access. They got a lot on their hands, way more than they ever predicted. But yeah, at the end here, it states here, we will continue development placing top priority on fixing major problems and issues. Thank you for your continued support of Power World. Freaking awesome. I would love to know if you guys experienced the Lift Monk effigy yourself. I know there was quite a bit of post over it. I didn't really notice it myself just because I didn't realize it was a bug until well later on when I started seeing articles and statistics of players, you know, just showing that they wasn't catching more. It's nice to see the developers got on top of this though and smoothed this out in the game. It's awesome to see Power World developers still at work smoothing out the game. After all, in the roadmap, they did say they would smooth out problems first, and then they will get into adding content. I'm excited to see what's in store for the future of this. Which, speaking of future content, I don't know if this is a for sure thing that will ever be implemented in the game, but Power World in the past released these trailers showcasing some things that we don't see in the game currently. And the reason why that is, for one, let me be clear here, these trailers were from an old engine that they were creating the game on. And they ended up upgrading to Unreal Engine, so 
they ended up scrapping a lot of these ideas. They didn't come with the early access release. However, we may possibly see some of these things that they showed in the past in the future. Now this isn't a for sure thing. Of course, Power World has never confirmed this, but there are some things that line up with what Power World uh, said they were gonna have on the roadmap, such as the PAL PVP arena. As you can see here, for an example, they did show this go down in one of their old trailers. Once again, their old trailers were made on a different engine than what they're currently working with now. But that doesn't mean they won't implement none of these ideas that they showed off in the past within their first reveal trailers. They also showed fishing too. And this is something that I know a lot of players are wanting in the game. And it could be a possibility they could add this sometime in the future. I don't know. But how cool would this be? Getting fishing in the game? And it's such a creative way on how they implemented fishing here. But yeah, there was all kinds of interesting things they showed in the past. They also showed this. It looks like some kind of mission they were doing. And it looks like more of a story is taking place here. So I don't know if you know they have plans of adding this. This could be like a raid that we may get to experience in the future. I don't know, once again, if they're for sure adding any of this that I'm showing you. I want to be clear on that. But yeah, uh, they also showed this giant whale pal that you know we haven't seen at all in the game taking us over to this place. Don't know if this is going to be some kind of transportation system they may add sometime in the future or some kind of new pal we can get in the future. I have no idea. But they did say they were going to be adding new islands for their planned updates within the roadmap. And they also did state that they would be adding a PAL PvP arena within their roadmap. It seems like they might have showed some of that in the past. They also showed some interesting base building too, like right here. Looks like they're working on some kind of rocket ship. Don't know. Once again, none of this could actually come in the game. They may have just scrapped these ideas all together. But I really don't see why they would do that. I'd imagine they keep some of these ideas and just implement them into Unreal Engine. There's also this lady here that was riding on Dormatide, and it looks like, you know, we're on shore or whatever. This could possibly be someone new that we interact with in the game at some point. But yeah, they had all kinds of different animations too, like Relaxosaurus eating a pingolet. Um, this, it looks like this flying pal had a bunch of pingolets in a cage here. Like what? And this animation here, Grizzbolt's like protecting the player, firing. That's awesome. And this right here, Digitoy's just digging. And then you can actually see the gold and rubies and stuff. I don't know. Some of this looks way off. Like I don't imagine them adding it into the game. But some of it could possibly be, could possibly be developed on Unreal Engine and we get to experience it. Only time will tell for real though. I just wanted to share this because seeing this old stuff got me kind of pumped. It would be nice to get some of these features in the game such as the fishing and it looks like the arena, which we are supposed to get the arena. But anyways, until next time everyone, appreciate y'all taking the time, watching and listening. Until next time, peace.